Pinehurst episode six. Back with another video. Here we are, Pinehurst number eight on the back nine. If you guys didn't stay tuned for the last five episodes, we started at Pinehurst number one. We played all 18 there. We had two matches. I won one, Grant won one. The next episodes were Pinehurst number three, front nine, back nine. I ended up winning both of those. On the front nine at Pinehurst number eight, Grant just took me down in stroke play by two strokes. He shot two over, I shot four over. And here we are, we're restarting. It's clean slate, it's another nine hole stroke play match. And then at the end, we'll obviously add up our score, show you guys what we shot. Pinehurst number eight, in my opinion, is the hardest course that we've played so far. It's very long, very tight, and very challenging, but I think there's a lot of birdies out there on this back nine, and I feel like we're gonna go low. I mean, he's played out here once, but I've never seen the course, so we're just going off of visuals. Front nine was really tough. It really, you, gotta, you gotta hit a lot of good shots out here if you wanna score. The greens are super hard, so. Stroke play, though, I love it. Grant is up first here, because he has honors after winning that last match. He's been striping. I, I feel like I've been playing pretty well as well. Not scoring too well, so hopefully we can turn around on the back nine. I'm feeling good. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you gotta it. expect it for this man. I healed it. Oh, it was so bad. I did. All right, I got driver in hand as well. Oh, I didn't know you could reach those trees. Pretty good though. It's up the right side of the fairway. 135 here. I'm gonna knock down this pitching wedge. What a weird feeling you're gonna make that. Oh my goodness. Holy roll of roll. That just felt good. That's all I gotta say. Ryder just picked up this pine cone. It's a lucky pine cone. What is, what's your pine cone rating on this? My pine cone rating? That's yeah. a 10. That's a 10? Yeah. I could see that being a 10. Yeah. That is a nice that's a nice pine cone. Mm. Hold it down now. 100%. One, two, four, 54 inside of the door. Right through these trees. A little draw here. Kind of sitting down. It's a weird lie. Ryder put the lucky pine cone though, so no worries. It's gonna be a good shot no matter what. Yeah. Should roll. Really good. Oh, sick. The top spin. It sure rolled. I was saying get up. I thought that was gonna be way short. Dang, that means I like literally needed to land that just onto the front edge. Okay, I see what it is. It's a super running away from you style green. So let's see, you gotta bump this one into the hill. That was really good, honestly. After seeing that, I am putting this. Because this is grainy. Fighting for par right now. Use that as motivation. I'm gonna knock this in the hole. Oh my god! I, this might just be the unlucky pine cone rider. <laughs> it really might be. He's just like, there's just holding a pine cone. I kind of like that's like the backboard. I feel very safe hitting this pot when a pine cone's there. <laughs> it's gonna snap left. I knew it, it was gonna break. You cannot see the break on these greens. It is Dude. impossible to read it. It really is, you need a caddy. I don't know what's going on here. Nice pot. Wow, that feels good. I'm not gonna lie, that bogey feels like a freaking birdie. You do need a caddy here. I could not see that break. Shout out to the pine cone, man. What are we naming it, Ryder? Um, I feel like Johnson. Johnson. I feel like Johnson's a good name. Johnson the pine cone. Yeah, Johnson the pine cone. Oh, I see it. Part five. It's down the right side. Hey, mm -hmm. as the late, great Bobby Fairways would say, I'm not going to say we're back, but we're back. Nice. Simmer! We're back. I'm making eagle. I'm getting back to one under, or we're getting two under. Dude, Johnson, I love you. Here we go, guys. We are in the right trees here. I'm going to hit a low stinger five iron. Get it back in play. I tried to keep it so low, I think I topped it. I think it's right out there in the fairway. It just went forward. We're gonna have a long ways in. I'm gonna try and hit a big old cut. That's the play, apparently, whenever I'm 250 from par five. I feel like I get nervous whenever I get to this yardage. Yeah. Like a little bit. All the excitement. All right, I'm gonna try and start this one at Ryder. Oh, we cut it. Shot. Oh, and it's diving out of the air. Sit. Okay, it did. It was the right shot shape, just a little too steep, cutty, spinny. 200 yards, I got a seven iron. I'm hoping this just flies all over the place. I feel like you almost need it to land short though. Oh yeah, this has got to land short of the green and then roll up. Yeah, so I almost like play a low one. Kind of like I did at Olympic Club on that par five, if you Ooh, remember. Oh, you're right. It's gonna squirt right on you probably. 
It did, and that's going to roll. That's it. That's going to roll. I don't know, but it bounced. It went in. Oh, it's probably long. I think I have 40 some yards. I'm gonna try and like land this just short on the green and kind of run it up. The grain has been crazy and I don't have much bounce on my wedges. So gotta really clip this clean if I wanna hit it close. Oh. Ah. No, dude. I was trying to land it like into that ridge and I carried it by five feet, so. Up and down for the par. It's been kind of a disaster this hole. We can save it right here. Yeah, yeah. I think I see this line pretty pretty well. Just kind of come right here, up the hill. Gotta give this one some pace. I need it, I really do need this. Nice pot. These greens here are so grainy. I'm getting used to it though, I will say. I am starting to get used to it, which is good. <gasps> Center of the cup, man. What a putt. At Let's the end go. of the day, it was center. I mean, when I looked down and I grabbed it out of the hole, it was in Dead. the center of the hole. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> Whose water is that? Hole 12. There's a potential that I can drive this. I'm going to aim just left of the pin, see if it rolls up onto the green. Freaking Johnson. Look at Johnson, dude. He's just, he's he's just, just being, chilling. He's just being a pine cone. He just like pops out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, two. Gonna be in that bunker just right of the green. I hit it really solid too. Huh? Gonna give this one a rip. Yeah. I think you got this one in you. I think I do too. Oh, he did it. He literally did uh, it. Oh, it's short. No. Nope. Well, it's right at the pin. Could be short. Oh. I knew I, I spun it a hair though, so I knew it was gonna be a hair short, but we needed that. Come on. Grant is in quite the tough situation. He's over in like a waste area. It's gonna be kind of a hard shot. He's gotta probably just clip this ball or just hit behind it. It's by far the hardest shot I've been faced with all week. 100%. He's gotta go over a bunker. He doesn't have much green, hard green, so it's not gonna spin. Is he... I gotta get lucky. We gotta clip it. Oh, he just got up there and hit it. Oh my, whoa. What? Oh my gosh, this guy. From this fly, I will struggle to do better than that, I feel like. That is such a good shot from there. Okay, shot Not right away. I will take that, I will take that. Not that. That's a scary one. If you land a little too far, it's rolling for a wave. When you have that distance and you're in the bunker, it's a weird thing, because you can either pick it clean or you try and take more club and open up the face. Did you pick that one? I did. I, I caught ball first, but I also opened up the face. So I kind of did both. I took a 56 degree, I opened up the face, and then I tried to hit it clean. Here we go. Let's take advantage of it, get to one under. That's good. I feel like if I have the right line on this one, I'm going to make it. I, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to roll this one well. I'm feeling good about this putt. Oh. Kind of bounced a little bit. Yeah, gum. I actually needed that one. That would be my second birdie of the day. First from this side, unfortunately. A little par there. A couple pars for both of us. One over to even through our first three on this match. Look at Johnson. He's here again. He just always follows us around. It's really weird. 187 to the pin. I'm going to try and carry this 180. Hopefully, it, re it will release back to the pin. Hook it in there. A little low hook. That was a cool swing there, Gold. That's what you want to do right there. Just try and play a straight ball here. Nice and high. Got to take a little bit off of it because of how hard these greens are, but I think we can stop this one. Come on. Oh, yeah. Go. Spinning. Again. Oh, it got there. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Roll back to mine. Yeah. I should have swung a little harder, I think, but yeah. we're good. We're putting. Let's go. I did not know I'm actually pin high. From the tee box, it looked like I was like way past the pin. I'm pin high here, left to right, lots of left to right. I'm gonna let it fall in. I've been leaving everything low. I'm gonna try and keep this one on the high side. Goes. Dude, and that's me. I'm gonna do it to him. I'm gonna square it up right here. I, I'm not even lining my ball up here. I, I just wanna feel this one. I've been falling in love with the line, and I feel like I haven't been reading them well, so we're just gonna trust it. Get it. 
I think I'm rolling it so well today too. Dang it! Pinehurst. Don't Pinehurst, man. We're playing well, just not scoring great today. So here, second time's a charm. Second golfer would be on tour. Not at all. Onto our 14th hole. Hole number five of this match. 320 direct line, but it's a tricky dog leg. So I'm gonna aim probably like 30 yards right of the green. Give myself a chip, hopefully. I don't know the exact line, but I know those trees out there to the right are 276. I'm gonna go just left of them. You hit that like 240. I know. Part of me really wants to just hit hybrid. Nice. Really good there. I love that swing. You exited left. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm hitting fades today. I need a birdie. I had one today and that's it. I have not been scoring great, so I think now is my time. 100 yards here on the dot, or even par. Let's get it to one under. That was it. Oh, that sure was it, wasn't it? Come on, gotta make a putt. All right, 67 yards here. Trying to open up a 58 degree. I need to like make something. I need to make it. I don't know. I really just want to hit a good shot. I apparently can't make a putt today, so let's just skip that part. Let's knock it in the hole. Oh, no. 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 Hmm. I think that was so frustrating because I hit it so freaking good. I just did not hit it hard enough. Oh, that was right at it too. Dang it. That's the thing though, with these greens, you have to go for that short landing mark because you can't fly it all the way there and spin it. This is not good. 67 yards, I got a bunker shot. Never fun, but maybe I can knock it in. You never know. You just never know. Nice. Nice shot. I'm figuring out how to play these greens. You gotta over read them. I got a ton of left to right here. Let's finally get a putt to the hole. No, we left it on the high side. We got it there and we left it on the high side. We changed it up, that was good. Nice. Thankfully I was able to get it up and down. That's not what you wanna see from six, seven yards having to stress for that par, but it is what it is. Through five holes, I'm still only one back in the match, so I'm definitely in striking distance. Anything can happen. 156 yards here. I got the eight iron. I've been knocking everything down this week, working on a new new kind of swing. Hole in one? Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be I feel like we have a way better chance of getting a hole in one here because the greens roll more than normal greens. Well, let's see it. Hit it just left of the pin, let it roll. All Funnel right. to the right side. Wow. I thought that needed to sit. Are you sure it's 153? We are short. Oh. Hey, wow. I got a nine iron. It's going to be full, though. If this goes in, you better post it. Go! Go, you little scammer. No! Dude, that is playing long. Just short of the green. At a 58, try to open this up. It's gonna roll a little bit from the left side to the right side. It's gonna hit and trust. It's gonna trust. Dude, this is hard. Dude. It's so grainy. Oh. No, that was just bad. I pulled that. That was bad. The grain here is gnarly. It grabs your balls. It will grab you. I'm gonna just land this on, let it roll out, left to right, down the hill, in the hole for a rider. There's no way. It's short. Literally an end of the grain chip. Down the hill, but into the grain. Yeah. And nothing hurts anymore, I feel kind of. Once again, just gotta hit and trust the line more than anything. Yeah. This putter, I'm telling you guys, it has done me well. I haven't missed any short putts recently. Don't want to jinx myself, but feeling dialed. Dang, dude, we've been dialed with those short saves. Come on. That keeps me at one up. I need to beat Garrett. I'll tie it back up if I can beat him. Dude, he was trying to sting you with a stinger. That, that was, was crazy. crazy. This was, I mean, I'm talking that big, that oh, buck on him. And he had a stinger trying to stab He was about me. to penetrate Grant. That scared me. I started running the other way. We didn't get it on video, but Grant almost died. Oh. Dude, Grant, Grant, you. Oh, I got him, dude, you. Got the heart rate up. Grant almost got stung by a wasp. Now he's about to lay into this ball. Oh, that's all right. I have not seen you in a drive like that in a while, I will say that. I got driver as well, step the right side, play a little draw in here. We're just straight ball. 
you can see the ball in the sky. Dad gummit, man. That was a really bad swing. We're in play. It's all that you can ask for sometimes. That bug was scary. I'm not gonna lie, I started running the other way. And Aaron? then when you flicked it off, it started flying towards me. So I don't, it was this big, and I don't know if it was a wasp or what it was, but it had a stinger and it was trying to sting me through my pants. It was actually I massive. wish we got it on it video. Massive. It traumatized me. You're gonna have nightmares about it now. It was a big boy. I don't know what it was. 133. Pitching wedge? Yep. I like that play. Just land a little short, run it back there. Oh, that's gonna work. Oh, that was nice. I thinned it so bad. I had a clump of sand behind my ball, so I had to like pinch it. 127, fairway bunker. Also have like a clump of sand, it's kind of weird. Yeah. 50 degree though, Grant. You gotta pick it. That's good. That's good. Oh yeah. It's long. It's so hard to spit it out here, dude. You picked it really good. I picked good. that nice. All right, walking up to the green, I am just a little bit long on this fairway grass. Just not giving myself too many opportunities today. So I basically, I need to chip this in, obviously if I want birdie, so. Oh, look at the little butterfly man. The butterfly man. I gotta go up over a ridge. Garrett's actually not in a bad spot. Pretty flat here, just a little left to right. My chipping's been bleh. I haven't felt too much confidence with the wedges today. We're gonna go with the putting. Left to right, a good amount. This is a speed putt. This is really a speed putt. Oh, it just hopped on me, didn't it? Got didn't the it grain. Huh? The grain ate it up. And grabbed it, started hopping up. Gotta make that for the par. Kinda scrapping it around today, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Why do I always say not gonna lie? All right, chill. I'm scrapping it around today though. I'm gonna pull it together. This one's a snapper. This one is a snapper. A little turtle. We gotta go way up there. We gotta aim at the clubhouse, actually. Oh. Sit, boo. Sit, boo. Oh, I went for it. Oh, we both got work. I believe I, I have honors. You have the honors. <laughs> that's not a good thing. No, that's not good. The grain goes left into, but the ball goes right. This is where I do need a caddy because I'm a little confused. I think it's going to break a little less than, than expected. Dude, what the heck? That putter. I'm going to break it when you're sleeping. Dude, I will say one thing. I mean, I'm scrapping it, but I have not missed any close putts today. But that's also why I haven't had birdies because I haven't had any close putts. I am gonna break it when you're sleeping. <laughs> oh, and it dove on a man. That squares up this match. On the last two, both one over now. On hole 17 and 18, I believe we have a par four and a par five. I need something good to happen here, folks. I really do. I'm one over, he's one over. I'm five over overall. He's three over overall. Like I said, scrappy round, but we can pull something together on these last two. 17's par four, and then I think 18's par five. Little dog big right, I got driver in hand, trying to play the cut again. I need to check my alignment. So if I'm here, just going off the left side. That's perfect. A little right, but not bad. I that's mean, you a still got- left of where I wanted to be. Oh, okay, you're yeah. trying to- I'm trying to cut it a little bit. No, that's gotcha. fine though. All right, I got driver in hand. See what we can do. Oh my, that's Thank the best God. swing of the day. Yes, best swing of the day for Clark. Okay. Yeah, that one was nice. I was scared though, because you never know out here. It's a little deceiving. I think you could go a little right of that if you want. And that's a draw. Settle. Oh, you're fine. Stop short of the trees. It's going to be all right. I this hole so much longer. I had that mistake, and this is actually a par five, which is huge for me. I'm in the middle of the fairway. 500 from the tip, so it's a very short one. I should have like 180 in, because I hit that one solid. So if I can make an eagle, that would put me back to three over overall and one under on this match. So got to hope wow. for something big like that and then finish strong on a pretty long par four. So this is a beautiful layout. It is. Oh. I will say that that's one thing about this course is it's very different from the other ones. In my opinion, the layout is very interesting, kind of hilly. The piece of land that this is on is an awesome, like naturally just beautiful piece of land. So right. lots of cool things, lots of positives about this course. It is a challenging course, but we've had a great time out here at Pinehurst number eight. 234, man, I made this so long. Garrett's gonna have a six, seven iron in, eight iron. Nine. I got a four iron. Gonna have to land this short and let it roll up. Oh, and it kind of flew on him in a good way. Just short. That's not bad. That is a good spot to be. Dang. 
thought that was gonna get there. Here we go. You probably got a nine iron. I think I'm close to it. Um, what are we saying? I at 174, it's down. So I'm thinking nine, but I feel like the ball's not going very far today. I don't know, I agree. Is it like an easy eight? I think we do a hard nine off the right, draw one in there, land it a little short, let it run. Oh. So kind of like here, trap. So you're trapping it, right? Oh. So like that. Yeah. See that move? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Ulnar deviation. Ulnar deviation. Whoa, 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 whoa. It was a low trap draw, I just pulled it. You just didn't like it. I didn't like it. Like, it was like a helicopter. I did not like that at all. You were looking like you are about to take flight. Yeah, I was, about to take off, fly to Mars. Actually, the moon. I got a 60, I'm gonna land it out halfway there, let it skid on back. Let's see if you can do it, guys. Look at the storm coming in. I think we're gonna beat the storm. Oh, he hit that so nicely. <laughs> That was a good shot. It did not release as much as he would have liked, but still a solid shot. Been feeling kind of deadly with this thing, so hopefully we can put a good roll on it. Grain looks like it's kind of running away from me, a little bit going to the right. I haven't dropped a bomb in a while, so I'm feeling like maybe I'm due, Grant. This will get you to one under. I see the line. I'm glad I missed it on this, this ridge, so hopefully we can put a good roll on this. Yeah, I had oh. the line. Got a little scared of it. I gotta make this. I'm due for a putt. I haven't made one literally all day. Literally, literally. Like, why do you say that word? Literally, not gonna lie. Honestly, not gonna lie. I'm gonna make this putt. Garrett's gonna make his. Look at that posture, guys. That is a work of art right there. Talk about someone who's locking it into a beautiful bent over position. I hate when they end up on the other, like perfectly behind the cup. You know you just either hit it too hard or you play a little bit too much. Nice pot. All right, here we go, final hole. This one is probably one of the most challenging holes out here in my opinion. It's a 445 par four into the wind today. I have driver in hand. See if I can rip it up the center. Got a storm in the background. See if we can make another birdie, come on. Oh no. I rotated. Oh no. Oh my butt. Somewhere in the dress. Should have a perfect gap of the pin, should be in a perfect location. Dang, I actually hit that good. That's Wait. unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Yep, there we go. He needs to tie it up here. It could be won or lost right here, G. 158, six iron, trying to roll this one through the little gap up to the front of the green. Let's see what we can do. Oh my gosh, I'm scared to watch. Oh, that's money. Come on. Yes, right up against the tree. Dude, that was... Mm. One, four, five. Grant is in an opportunity to potentially get another point back and tie it up. I got to birdie this now. In the Pinehurst series. Garrett's giving me the, the window. I got to birdie this. Up and down. Oh, that one's going to haunt me tonight, guys. That one's going to keep me up tonight. I probably will not sleep. It's so good. Yep, really good shot. Got to get up and down for far. Seems pretty realistic. Got a seven iron in hand. Another punch shot here, boy. It's just a game of odds right now. You got it through. In the front bunker, probably. Solid. I was kind of just trying to take my medicine, give myself a bunker shot, and hopefully hold out for par to finish. Like, at the end of the day, it's what I kind of have to do. It's unfortunate. I wish that punch shot, I mean, it was like, six inches sometimes that's the difference so it's just six inches or even less than that sometimes so i'm in the bunker gotta hold it out all right guys he's in the bunker here up and down for his bogey these greens would be a lot a lot tougher if they had them up to the normal speed because they'd be rolling off the sides and stuff this is what it comes down to guys I have a chance left to right not a ton though Dude, what am I doing? I mean, that was close, really close. If I make this, I still have a chance of winning this match, so I love this line too. I think this is going in. I wanted that so bad. I've never wanted a putt more, I don't think. I've 
Never wanted a pump more, honestly. This is it. This is for it all. We tied. We kind of discussed this before. If we were to make a tie, we both get a point and we move on from there. Oh, I thought I had that putt. I really did. Johnson, you know, he did me well, but unfortunately just not well enough today. Grant and I both got a point there, which basically puts me at four points and then Grant at three points. So he's still just one point back. It's not what you want to see, but I did not lose. Anyways, that's Pinehurst episode six, the back nine of Pinehurst number eight. Hope you guys enjoyed. I believe I shot six over, which is 78. I really had something good going towards the end, but unfortunately choked once again. And Grant ended up shooting. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, peace out.